Did you know, that some types of insects have been on Earth for actually more than 300 million years? All insects have six jointed legs and three body parts, the head, thorax, and the abdomen. Like humans, insects have skeleton. But an insect's skeleton is on the outside, and it's called the exoskeleton. There are more than a billion more insects on Earth than there are human. As you can see, insects are extremely different than human. The praying mantis's head can turn about half a circle, like no other insect in the world. It has an upside-down triangle head with a small chewing mouth. There are also two antennae, right above its head. The praying mantis has two compound eyes on its head. The eyes can see up to 35 meters away. In addition to the three compound eyes, the praying mantis also has three simple eyes located between the two large compound eyes. The thorax is the middle part of the body. It has six legs in the middle part. The thorax has two beautiful white wings right above the legs. The color of the thorax is usually green, but it sometimes changes, because of the environment around it. Part of the body is the exoskeleton. The exoskeleton is very soft. The size of the praying mantis is quite tall. The adult praying mantis is two to six inches long. The female praying mantis is bigger than the male praying mantis. Praying mantis lays 14 to 100 eggs. The parent squirts liquid on the egg to create egg case and protect the eggs. Praying mantis has three stages of their life. Egg, nymph, and adult. The praying mantis lives in warm places in North and South America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. They live in rainforests, meadows, and grasslands. The praying mantises are carnivores. They eat grasshoppers, houseflies, cockroaches, blowflies, wasps and bees, moth, and butterflies. They even eat other praying mantises. The female mantis eats the male mantis. There are some predators that praying mantis should hide from. This includes night bats and the birds. The hiding is done by camouflage. The praying mantis can change its color to the color of its surrounding to hide from predators. This is the end of Ryan's report. It was a pleasure for me to present this report, and I hope you enjoyed listening and learning about Praying Mantis.